On Saturday, February 16, Dr. Paul Apodaca met with Nicholas Academic Center students for the latest installment of the Chapman Visiting Scholar Series, this time focusing on folklore and mythology of the peoples of North America. The thing that I like about folklore is that it doesn't change what we're doing. It says, you're doing what you say you're doing, and we're just happy you value it, and we're looking at the way you value it. So if you're dancing, you're dancing. Uh, we accept the culture as it says it, it is. And for that reason, I think uh, folklore studies especially is very, very good, especially for American Indians and a lot of other cultures, because uh, people end up feeling uh, uh, like they are still themselves as they're going through the process. It's kind of funny to do what you think is normal to you or what you think is fun and have someone tell you that it has all these complex meanings to it that you didn't realize. Although he shared many myths and fables during the lecture, Dr. Apodaca gave special attention to a story associated with an iconic image and explained how several stories relate to the history and geography of a people. But this is a, is a folk tale used to, to talk about these two mountains, which is, this is really interesting stuff, because Indians do this. Indians take the landscape around them and then put stories into the landscape. So as you walk by a mountain, it's talking to you. And in that way, by putting stories, folk stories, into every rock, into every river, every, into every mountain, the world becomes a library. And as we walk through the landscape, we're reminded of the things that are important to us. Everything has a story behind it. Every, everything about nature has a story behind it. For the second half of the lecture, Dr. Apodaca turned his attention to symbolism as used in the arts and crafts of peoples of North America and he challenged students to think differently, to find meaning in symbols rather than rely on linear thinking and literal representation. But here I'm gonna try and show you how symbols work, okay, and how they're used in this particular case by Indians in the Southwest with their ceramics. But once you understand this, then you'll be able to look at ceramics, cloth, anything really with, in, in culture and see how, how it works through, through symbolism, especially of course again stuff of, of Mexico as well. We're going to be talking about different ways of thinking when we're looking at these things, all right? One way is using symbolism, the other is using literalism. So today's lectures I found interesting the second part about the arithmetic and how the shapes form. The, well, it describes lightning, the water, mountains, and I love the bird pretty much, how it just created art. Since the Chapman Visiting Scholar Series was established in 2010, hundreds of Santa Ana Unified School District students have been exposed to a collegiate environment through lectures such as the one presented by Dr. Apodaca. The lecture series is made possible through the partnership between Chapman University and the Nicholas Academic Centers.